Hello friends, Sniz here, and today we're going to be going over the new Thunderbreaker 5th job skill, Lightning Spear Multi-Strike I believe it is called. Quite the mouthful, if I do say so myself. I'm making the majority of this video near the beginning of the Awake patch, so do expect more information to be discovered as what I'm about to cover is rather surface level and contains theory crafting that hasn't been completely fleshed out. Also, I mentioned in a previous video, the gear video that I did recently, that I was working on a bug report to document how Kana's Tengu Strike lowers Thunderbreaker's DPM. I'll confirm now that I have no plans to finish that video since the bug is fixed and should no longer worry you as a Thunderbreaker. Feel free to have your Kana's weave while you boss with them. So back to the topic at hand. Everyone received their fourth V skill this patch, and as I stated in the Thunderbreaker Discord, I signed up for Broken Hands, not a broken brain, and this skill is actually destroying my brain since it's actually quite an underwhelming improvement to our 40 seconds. It makes finding the optimal time to use it relatively important if you're trying to squeeze the most out of this skill. So our new skill is Lightning Spear Multi-Strike for the Uninformed. To cover the very basics of the skill, Multi-Strike gives you 12 chain attacks when cast and immediately uses one. You'll see in the top right corner of your screen that you have a buff with a little number 11 on it. Each time you cast Multi-Strike after that, the number decreases by 1 until either the buff disappears due to timeout or you use all 12 casts. If I'm to believe we are in the same patch as KMS was when they initially got this skill, then this skill currently benefits from Thunderbreaker's third job skill, Link Mastery, without needing to weave or link attacks in between. This means you gain 20% final damage by just using the skill by itself. But the summon lightning from multi-strike is unaffected by link mastery if this is the case. Currently in KMS, they fixed it so that the 20% final damage boost applies to all parts of the skill. This includes the summon lightning. But you can no longer use the skill by itself to benefit from link mastery. I have been told that the fix that removes this final damage boost when using the skill alone wasn't a complete fix though. From what I was told, in KMS you can still use multi-strike alone to get the link mastery damage boost to it but you have to tap the key instead of holding it down like you presumably currently can. I have doubts that it will stay that way as it goes against Thunderbreaker's core design. Because of this, I highly recommend you learn to weave one of two skills with it, the choices being either Thunderbolt or Typhoon. It remains to be seen which of these skills is the best to weave with it, but my best results currently have been from having Primal Bolt active and using Multi-Strike while weaving Typhoon in with it. After Multi-Strike is over, I swap to Thunderbolt and Typhoon until Primal Bolt end, and then I finally swap to Thunderbolt and Annihilate until the 40 seconds are over. I cannot see any scenario where weaving Multi-Strike with Annihilate is worth more than using Thunderbolt or Typhoon instead. This is largely due to the fact that the end lag on Annihilate is awful, and the two extra lines do not seem to make up for this. You can further see why Annihilate is awful in my video on what Thunderbreaker's best combo is, so I'll leave it at that. Now, the main issue I have with this skill is that I'm still unsure of when to use it for optimal damage. I've tested a few methods depending on what point in the game you may be at, and I'll go over them now. Do note that these are probably not the best methods, but they are the methods that have been the most consistent for me. I'll start by laying out the testing procedure and presumptions right now. Your buff order is as follows. You'll pop Glory of the Guardians, Cygnus's Blessing, Lightning Cascade, Overdrive, and Primal Bolt. If you happen to be using Angelic Buster Link and or an Oz Ring, they'd be used after Primal Bolt is popped. For those uninformed, I feel I should go over Cygnus' Blessing. Cygnus' Blessing is essentially a scuffed infinity. At level 30, with the Transcendent version, which is available at level 245 and higher on Cygnus Knights, it immediately grants 30% damage and over the course of the duration ramps up to 120% damage when fully charged. From brief testing, it seems to increase the buff by 8% damage every 3-4 to four seconds on average. Because of how Blessing works, two variations of when to use Multi-Strike have come to light. For option A, you wait until Cygnus' Blessing is stacked to use Multi-Strike, but you use Multi-Strike before Overdrive and Primal Bolt expire. In option B, you use Multi-Strike immediately because your short duration buffs outweigh the potential damage gained from a stacked Blessing. In option A, you do not use AB Link and or Oz Rings at all. Even if you do use AB Link, then your BA should still be higher by waiting for Blessing to sack. This is simple math. A level 2 AB Link is 45% damage, and adding on to the immediate 30% damage you gain from Blessing, you have 75% damage. 
A level 3 AB link is 60% damage, and adding that onto the immediate 30% damage, you'll be at 90% damage. Whereas a fully stacked blessing is 120% damage. At around the 25 second mark of your BA, which is when I would advise to use multi-strike, Cygnus's blessing should on average grant anywhere between 78% damage and 94% damage at minimum. The damage bonus granted from blessing could be higher or lower depending on server lag and user error as well. But even with a scuffed battle analysis, I still hit higher by waiting to use multi-strike in the last 5 seconds of Primal Bolt. In option B, you're required to have a good Oz rank to make the most out of this method. And on top of the Oz rank, I highly recommend to use AB link to further improve the damage you'll gain. I'm using a weapon jump S4 in this analysis, but your mileage may vary depending on which rings you have in your possession. This method, option B, has you use multi-strike at the very beginning to benefit from your short duration buffs. The buff order does not change at all, only that you use multi-strike while AB and your Oz ring buff are active. Overall, I did 6 tests total. I compared using multi-strike first versus the last 5 seconds of Primal Bolt with just AB link. No Oz ring was equipped, I was using a damage ring. I also compared using multi-strike first versus the last 5 seconds of Primal Bolt with just an Oz ring. And I compared using multi-strike first versus the last 5 seconds of Primal Bolt with a both AB link and an Oz ring. The conclusion I've come to is that if you have an Oz ring, a good Oz ring, you should always use multi-strike first while that buff is active. On top of that, to further improve your damage, you might as well swap out a link for AB. Overall though, the damage difference is rather minuscule, but this could be due to user error. Overall, Thunderbreakers actually got a really underwhelming skill. Not going to lie, I was really excited for this skill as I thought it was going to be Thunderbreakers big burst and by extension big break. But in reality, when comparing 40 second BAs, it adds anywhere between 5 to 10% final damage. And that's within a small time frame. 40 seconds is pretty short. Of course, there could be something I'm missing, but the majority of TVs I've talked to have had similar results. The skill is decent. 244 lines is nothing to scoff at, but Thunderbreakers definitely didn't get the burst they were looking for. Also, I feel I should mention if it wasn't gathered prior, this video was all about optimizing for a 40 second burst, or part 3 of Hard Lucid. In a normal bossing situation, you use multi-strike immediately when the boss is bound to ensure you get all the damage in. But in conclusion, Thunderbreaker's 4th V skill is mediocre. Thank you for coming to my Thunderbreaker talk, my name is Sniz, and I'll see you friends later.